Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Al Pac King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K23 video. Today we're going to be talking about my career. Yes, you've read the title. It's time not to be scared anymore, guys. You can come on back. It's, it's all right. My career is waiting for you. Please just pull up. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting too loud. Let me explain. So a lot of people really shunned away from 2K and NBA 2K22 because Pro difficulty felt like Hall of Fame. It felt like the computer was unbeatable. I have a friend named Tyrone. You know, he, you know, slaps dudes, you know, Fs people's wives and stuff like that. He literally called my phone, FaceTime me and told me, yo, I'm never playing 2K22 again. I can't get out of college. I can't even make it to the D League. This game sucks. He told me a game sucked because it was too hard. So I'm here to let you guys know. Yes, I'm caressing your face right now. That rookie is back yes you can play on rookie difficulty that you play play now rookie difficulty you can play your my career rookie difficulty you can play your my gm or whatever whatever you want to do you can play any mode on rookie except for online i know i know you, you just can't play rookie online it's just hey man i mean if you had a my court when you can make your own rules 2k shh, shh, hey 2k hey, hey hey bring back my court I'm just saying people like it. Um, but like I was saying, you can play on rookie as well as other difficulties all the way up to Hall of Fame. Now, I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a second, but I want to take a little sidebar. If you're a point guard and you're on PS5 and you're not in my Discord, me and you, we got a problem. Link in the description. Secondly, all of the gameplay that you guys are going to be watching is from editor. I've been looking for an editor for months now because I want to bring back my career games and it's up to you to let me know if these are W edits or L edits. So make sure you leave either a W or L inside the comment section so that me and that editor can talk and we can come to some type of agreement because man, I need that content out. You feel me with me streaming on Facebook gaming and streaming on Twitch. It's like, bro, I don't have time to just sit, record, edit, commentate, post, commentate, do all this and then give it to you guys. It's just not as much time in the day, man. I'm a husband. I'm a father. It's a lot going on, man. So make sure you guys please leave those comments for me. All right. Now let's talk about the difficulty. So I'm not a sweat. All right. I know I'm level 25. I know I'm a 95 overall, but I'm not a sweat. So check this out. If you go down to settings, I know I'm on Hall of Fame. Still not a sweat. I encourage people who are badge grinding to play on Hall of Fame. The only badge that I don't want you to grind on Hall of Fame is your shooting badge. Unless you can clearly get, oh, I mean, wide open to shoot your shots, do not get your shooting badges on Hall of Fame. You can bump it down to Superstar or All-Star. Hall of Fame, you're gonna be out here airballing if you can't green your shots, all right? Now, this is something that 2K did that is amazing. 2K has been giving us more information on their game this year than any other 2K I've ever seen. Pop-ups, information, letting us know what's to come, what to expect. It's a beautiful thing. In here, if you change the difficulty, they're letting you know off the rip. Your VC either going to be lower or higher. Your my points are going to be either lower or higher. It's up to you. So for all my badge grinders, look here. The my, that, that multiplier, I know... I know, don't beat me up at the comments saying 2K, we should be getting double rep for playing on Hall of Fame. It should be 2.0. Oh my God, I'm going to strangle somebody at 2K. I understand. But 1.6 is what we got. 1.6 is what we're going to have to deal with. And you can get 1.4 or 1.2 if you want to go up from pro. But for all those people out there that like to play it on easy, very easy, they got semi-pro and they got rookie. So that means you're going to get less VC. You're going to get less mile points, but you're going to have a hell of a time beating the hell out of the CPU. Hey, can we get a clap? Can we get a clap? It's amazing. It's, you can you can literally shit on anybody. It's not you can dunk on freaking Gobert. You can dunk on Dwight. You can dunk on Shaq. That's if you play like, you know, the, you know, my my NBA and eras. And yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to talk about that right now, but. Like I was saying, you can do it, but I would encourage people to either play on pro or all-star for a general good basketball experience. And please run plays. If you guys don't run plays and you don't play simulation basketball against the CPU, you're kind of losing because they got some cheesy little, yeah, yeah, like, like grated cheese plays in there that you can literally score every single time. So 
enjoy that information. But without further ado, remember W edits or L edits in the comment section. Be that guy where he opens your eyes with his playmaking. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Hey, get him out the game, bro. He's too good. Before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up is not great. In, in today's game, look from three-point range, they're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. A nice shot, but no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. This, their first look at this year's Washington squad. And, and even though they're one of the on the roster, something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tooks. Inside, here's M.B. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play. Uncovered, and it's in there. And our three-pointer, a 73 okay. for Philadelphia. That's Larry Legend works. Right there, no matter what. There's a good screen. For the three, it is a very right, efficient slightly. five for six on the game. All part defensively right now, especially on the interior. That's another slightly, bro. The D they've gotten all of their first six shots to go in here in the second. What a quarter so far. And Greg Harden in. And some changes here for the 76ers. Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Matisse Thibel comes in for Maxi, And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Embiid the screen to the inside, the shot, and that's good. Lead pass to get it, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got nine rebounds now tonight. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's going to get a double double screen on Barton. This is it to Embiid, and Embiid pulls it down. What a scary sight! Joe shows you how much he loves these moments. The pass to yes. Where's the foul, bro? Where's the foul, bro? Takes the 13 footer and another miss by Washington. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. To take the lead. So bully. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Porzingis finds Beal. They double team Beal. Back to Porzingis. Kept alive by Washington. Outside Beal. Hachimura with a screen on Maxi. Pass to Hachimura. Oh my God. The the screen. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God, bro. Oh, thank God, bro. I can't believe it, bro. Yo, the fucking switch. PJ Tucker, you're fucking dog shit, bro. I can't believe you almost sold me, bro. Oh, my God. And now we got the. I'm saying, put y'all trust in me, you heard? I'm about to miss these. Washington ain't got no timeouts though. percent from the three-point line and only one by two Washington is fucking crazy they dumb nice all right whoo man that video took a little bit uh so what do you guys think let me know in the comments man i appreciate you guys for watching let me know that you guys want to see my career inside the chat man let me know with more of my career or a less my career, we can keep it news, speculation, we can keep it, you know, highlights, park, rec, whatever you guys want. 
just make sure that you guys hitting that like button and, and, and engaging with me in the comment section. Because without y'all, I ain't shit. Bye. You better be our pod, you better be shaked. Rub with Jay Z and Bruce or get baked. Right after the loss, your team got away. You can't step foot in my pod.